episode of the singer of possessed you're watching behemoth x the blackest darkest magic and practice hail satan horns up crosses down Once again, I have been receiving many messages on opening your third eye. So I thought I would take some time and explain how I open my third eye. Now, there is many techniques. Um, this is what works for me. 
Now, there's many that will lay down while doing this. I sit, I have my legs, I'm on my knees, and I keep my arms straight and my back straight. I will start doing breathing techniques. I breathe through my nose. And we'll hold it for six seconds. And blow out. I will do this for about three, four minutes. Um, Some people will count this down, like they'll do it six times or eight times. Not for me. I just, when I start feeling it starting to activate, I will, uh, I will change it up and I'll, I'll explain. Um, so I will do that for about three, four minutes. And if a thought comes in, I hold on to it. And I will blow it out. After a while, I will breathe in, hold it for six seconds, and I will say, um, um, I will vibrate. You feel the vibrations. This tone will activate your third eye. I'll do that a few times. Then I will breathe in six seconds. Ta. I will say ta a few times. Then I will breathe in again and hold it as long as I can. I will focus on my heart. The heart has a lot of energy. And I will feel the vibrations go up. My neck, around my ear, into the center where my eye is. The pineal gland is in the center of your brain and you're trying to activate that to your third eye. It can release DMT or melatonin. That is what is released when you're sleeping and when you're dreaming. Sorry, even just doing that puts me in a state. Um, When I my third eye is open, um, I see, uh, when it begins to open, I have this warm aura. Some will see purple, some will see violet. I see um, uh, yellow, uh, like warm, a a warm color. Um, uh, And when you have that open, The idea is not to have any thought, anything, because when it's open, you will open that portal. And I believe that's a portal to the other side, uh, to the third dimension. Um, It takes practice, my friends. Um, don't, Don't be hard on yourself. It took me a little while to actually open it up just for a few seconds. So, Be patient. Now this is my technique. There's many techniques to this. This is just what works for me. Uh, Sometimes I can be in that state in two minutes. Uh, Sometimes it could take me a few minutes. So be patient. There's some foods that you can eat. They suggest vegetables and fruits. I eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, friends. Uh, I eat a salad every night. And uh, before I go to bed, I have one pear and one banana. 
It's just something I do. The only meat that I do eat is chicken. Now this is a diet that I, I do for about two weeks and then that one day I will relapse. So I have some steak, I have some chips, I eat some candy, but normally it's all raw food and that is suggested. Um, there is, um, now I don't know if this is true or not, but they say that fluoride can um, keep your third eye closed. Uh, there's a conspiracy about why they put it in the water. Um, I don't know how true that is, but that is something to, you know, look into if you have the time. The pineal gland looks like a pine cone and you can go down that rabbit hole. You will find that secret societies, old religion. I believe there's a pine cone on the Pope's staff. You'll see it all over. Like it goes way back even to the Egyptian days. And it's amazing that, you know, the pineal gland looks like a pine cone and it's all over the place it's like they knew something and they did know something but i hope this helps a little bit and gives you a, a little bit of an idea of how i open my third eye signs that you have been cursed. I know someone that's going through this and I was talking to a family member today. We went to uh, Home Depot and I shared this with him and I said, you know, I think this family member is cursed. Now he doesn't know that I'm in witchcraft. I have never shared it with him. It's none of his business. But, when I curse somebody, I go for physical, mental, and psychological. Now this is why I think this gentleman is cursed. And I'm gonna be very careful how I say this. He is, okay, he is in healthcare. And something happened at work about six months ago uh, he got suspended let's just say he was fighting with somebody and I think he was in the wrong because he got suspended then he started having panic attacks breathing issues to the point it's like I said it's been about six months and he still hasn't been at work and he's uh, they don't know what it is he, 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 his throat closes up and he can't breathe. So he can't go to work. That's physical. Through this six months, he has fought with his neighbors. And I mean, just lost it. He seems to have anger problems and they just came up. He has lost a few friends over it. He actually lost it on me one time. And I didn't take it personal, but he was going at me. And the family is concerned. When I curse somebody, the goal is to isolate them, to bring them into a depression, to feel alone. The financial is the closing of the throat, where it's happening more and more, and he is losing money. So there's the three targets right there. So if you feel emotional, if you're losing, you lost your job and something physical is happening, these three things at once, good, good chances you were cursed. Now I have a video I put on my page, it's Return to Sender. Uh, check it out. You can buy uh, reverse candles. 
Um, I've never used them before, uh, but that's maybe something you can look at. There's some oils you can look at as well if you go to a, a cult shop. Um, also, uh, if you're not sleeping right and you're, you, even though you're so tired, you can't sleep, that is another sign. See, one sign, I wouldn't worry about it, but when it hits three, I'm thinking, uh, you know, you should get some help. Now, with the extreme cases, I have gone into ritual for some people and some clients. Um, I work with Lucifer for protection, and then I work with Marbus. And Marbus does a great job of reversing the curse, uh, uh, cleansing the body, uh, destroying the parasites and all negative entities on the person, giving them a clean slate. But that's for the worst case scenarios. But if you are feeling two or three of these things that I mentioned, please check out my video and do the things that I suggest. That should help you. You know, another thing, if you feel parasites on you, um, what I highly recommend is going to uh, a river, uh, going to a creek, a fast running creek, and pushing, pushing the negative parasite into the river, and you will get lost in the river. Um, I've actually done this. This is something that was recommended to me a few years ago, maybe four years ago, and I did it, and it worked for me. So that's another suggestion. So I hope that helps, and I hope that answers some of your questions. I'm cursing. Now, I'm on video, and obviously, and there is people in my neighborhood that have seen me on video, but I don't promote it. I don't go around when someone asks me what I do. I don't tell them that I'm a black magician. I don't have to. I give them a couple things, like I, I'll, I'll tell them that I'm doing editing. I'm an editor. Um, but I do this to protect my family and to protect my children. You know, friends, uh, I have one child in school and they're young. I have another one that will be going in a couple years. And I don't want uh, anyone to judge them because this is still uh, uh, a dangerous thing for practitioners especially at a young age to be picked on. You know, I've had my uh, uh, furnace fixed here and I, I got a new air conditioner, central air, had to be replaced. And I'm always locking the door. Sometimes when I'm editing, uh, my wife will come in and she'll you know, ask me a question. And sometimes my son will come down and ask for a charger. I'm thinking that I'm going to build uh, get some curtains and just have it closed and it's just to close it off you know uh, I have to protect myself you know and I I would hate someone to come you know if a stranger comes down and I left the door open and they seen this you know people just assume that it's just totally evil and dark and like I'm killing things down here and I'm not, uh, like f sacrifices and stuff. And I don't need that in my life. I actually, I have close friends, neighbors here. I have never told them what I do. And it's to protect them too. And I, I don't need the Christian right at my house. I don't need pamphlets destroying my mailbox. You know, I don't need someone going up to my son at eight and praying on their head because their dad is a black magician. Fuck that. And if that ever happened, I will lose my shit. And because my family is the most important thing, your loved ones and your family should be the most important thing. 
I am the father, I am the protector, and no harm will come to my children. So you may live a different life. You may share that you're on this path. Uh, that's up to you. I like to live a private life. Believe it or not, even though I'm doing these videos, I believe in having a private life. So there's no promoting. Protection is important. Uh, I, I say this because a lot of people ask me about my my family and, and my children and do I raise them on this path? I want them to be free thinkers. If they ever ask, I might give them uh, a few tips, only if they ask, but I want them to make their own judgment, their free will. I won't push it on them. But raising my children, I will say, with that free will, the black magician does come out, you know, and because uh, it's in me, it's who I am. But I really do try to watch myself. Uh, I don't want to push anything on them again. So you may be different. Uh, I won't judge you, you know, as long as you're taking care of your children or your loved ones. There, I don't have a problem. If you're not, then I have a little bit of a problem because I believe in protecting children as well. That's why I'm so, I have so much anger for pedophiles. And, oh, with pedophiles, if you're practicing cursing and you're just getting into it, practice on pedophiles. They're a great target and great practice for any uh, practitioner. That's my suggestion, and I've done it. I know some friends done it or do it. Uh, my buddy JS, I know he does the same thing when he comes up with a new curse and he wants to uh, perfect it. He will find a pedophile, uh, a serial pedophile, and just start cursing the fuck out of them. And so there's a suggestion right there for your cursing so now I I do believe in reading grimoires I don't suggest reading a shitload I have a little bit that I go for a reference once in a while and uh, sometimes I just take something out of it and I will put it in my own workings uh, people have asked me, are you going to write a book? Now, this is something that's been common. I've seen it many times. I've been seeing it a lot lately. Friends, I have three grimoires. One large, two that are kind of small, that are mine. I have written this out myself. These have all my rituals in it, has all my chants in it and I keep adding to it. If I put them together, I could maybe have a grimoire. Um, do I have plans to do it? No, I don't. Um, will I do it? Maybe. You would have to do what I suggest for you to get results. It works for me, and maybe someday I will share it. But I don't have any desire. But if I did, I have an artist. I have a couple publishing uh, companies that I trust. I would want to have it. The first hundred leather, you know, really done up right. So it costs money to do it. And if I did publish a grimoire, I would more than likely donate the money um, to a cause that I I believe, you know, something probably in the left-hand path. But yeah, I would definitely do that. That would show my true attentions with sharing the book, um, sharing what I know, and sharing my my path. Uh, so we'll see. But you can stop asking. It's already a thought. So we'll see. Now, I was with a friend today. Uh, 
I think I shared that about the, the family member that's cursed. And we're talking. We went to Home Depot. I had to get some things. And uh, I was talking to him. And I, I told him, I said, I had a dream about you, dude. He's like, oh, really? I said, I dreamed, which is weird, that we got subs. And I bought you a sub. And there was a boil bowling alley inside, outside, like connected inside and we went we looked at the bowling alley and he started laughing he goes dude that wasn't a dream we did that last week and i was like huh? yeah of course what was i thinking my reality and my meditation and my dreams are all getting mixed together not overwhelmingly but it is happening and it's the result of working with Belial I will be working with Belial for a little while I can see another maybe nine months maybe I I don't know but that's what it's looking like um, I found myself uh, being a little bit paranoid too I'm um, trying to keep that in check. Uh, I don't know why this is happening to me. Uh, because I'm a really outgoing person. I, I have no problem talking to strangers. But I've noticed a little bit of an anxiety happening. Even though I've been working on my uh, shadow. So maybe I got it look at that some more but that's something I wanted to share he has given me uh, a mantra another mantra uh, I might might share it uh, on my page ship my, my next video might be the mantra we'll see we'll see if it's finished because when I get a mantra sometimes I only get a, a few words and if I hear it more than once and different rituals, I know it's important. So I will write it down and then something else will come with it. So that's why, you know, you, you'll you see these YouTube channels and they're constantly putting out these fucking mantras. And that's not how it works for me. Uh, I want a true mantra. I want the mantra to come from Belial, not from my, my thoughts. It has to be channeled and it has to be perfect. If I'm putting it out there, I want power in that mantra. I want you to feel Belial uh, covering you, um, looking down on you. I want that vibration in your body. I want you at times to even feel nervous and feel the presence of Belial. So, will I have this video? Maybe. We'll see, but let's give me some time and uh, if I'm ready, I'll do it, so. Where I live, we've had a cold winter. You know, everyone in my neighborhood, in my city, we're all stuck in the house and I have children and because it's been so cold the kids are itching to go out my one son goes to school comes straight home it's always video games and you know I I try to get them outside but you know nobody wants to be outside when it's freezing so it's been nice to see the the, the seasons start changing and it to start warming up I've been out a couple just a couple days ago with my children and you know just for them running around it's nice to see and it's good for their mental health you know uh, and I, I know a lot of people do stay in through the winter it's almost like hibernating and it's definitely not good for your mental health so 
be excited that spring is coming or spring is here actually and get out get some sun on your face you know start doing stuff around your house go for walks you know i'm looking forward to taking the kids to the park and you know all those good things that come with spring i hope everybody is doing okay and i want to thank you for joining me here on my page remember friends always protect your kingdom protect your family protect your loved ones hail now is the time for me to rise to my feet wipe your spit from my face wipe your tears from my eyes